What does margin of safety mean in 2020? Hi, my name is Gary Mishuras. I'm the managing partner and chief investment officer of Silver Ring Value Partners. I also teach the value investing seminar at the FW Olin Graduate School of Business. So the other day, someone asked me, what does margin of safety even mean in 2020 when we have you know, all these you know, internet stocks, these software as a service companies, all these companies with intangibles, like what does it mean? Like what is, what is uh, the original concept advocated by Benjamin Graham? Like how does it apply to today's world? And my answer is it applies just as much to today's world as to any other world if, and this is a big if, so I think pay attention here, it's if you have margin of safety properly defined. So margin of safety is not, you know, some statistic, you know, it's not uh, price to book or price to earnings or something like that. That's a very kind of first level, I would say, naive understanding of what margin of safety means. Let's let's go back. What does margin of safety really mean? It's an engineering concept, meaning that you want to make sure that, you know, if things go worse for your design, then you anticipate that your design still survives. So, for example, if a bridge is, you know, rated uh, for 10,000 uh, for 10 tons and you know it happens to have 15 tons of you know vehicles on it then it doesn't collapse that's margin of safety right that things can go worse than expected and you still do okay now apply to investing what does margin of safety mean and especially in 2020 well it always meant the same thing it's a combination of quality factors and a discount to the net present value of cash flows of future cash flows that allows you to believe that it's very difficult to lose money in an investment and it's probable that you will make a good return that hasn't changed now what that means to specific stocks might have changed maybe the opportunities are in a different part of the market that's a topic for another conversation but the idea that you need both quality of factors and valuation to together you know, constitute a margin of safety for your investment, meaning that things can go worse than you expect or that the market than the market expects and your investments will still do okay. That has not changed. And you know what? It is not going to change. It's going to stay the same. It doesn't matter if biotech stocks are in favor, if SaaS companies are in favor, whatever the acronym or the if it's conglomerates of the 60s or it's the radio companies of the 20s, it does not change. It is the same. Now the new the, the art and the skill is in applying it correctly to the current environment right and that is not easy i would actually go out and venture that most of the companies of the stock market darlings that everyone is tripping all over themselves to go and buy or at least to discuss don't have a margin of safety and i make that i believe that's a high probability statement that doesn't mean, necessarily mean that they're bad investments they could work out okay what not having margin of safety means is that there's not much room for error there's not a lot of room in many of these companies for something to go slightly worse than expected and for the investment to still yield a reasonably attractive rate of return. Or conversely, for something to go somewhat wrong and for you to not lose a bunch of money on your investment. So I think that the definition of margin of safety, if you properly understand it, hasn't changed. But the current market kind of darlings, the you know, glamour stocks of the day, lack the margin of safety. So you don't need to redefine margin of safety. You just need to understand it properly and apply it properly. And that's not to say that a tech stock cannot have margin of safety. Of course it can. At one price it can, at another price it may not. And that is what you therefore, as the investor, you have to figure that out. At what price does it have margin of safety for you? And that's where the skill lies. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, please uh, hit like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video.